Ever ordered food at a restaurant? You don't just walk into the kitchen and cook your own meal, right? Instead, you tell a waiter what you want, and they communicate with the kitchen to get it for you. In the tech world, APIs work exactly like that. Your apps need something, and APIs help them get it. But what exactly is an API? You've probably heard the term thrown around, maybe in a tech article, a job description, or by that one friend who works in IT and always seems to be speaking another language. Today, we're breaking it all down. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what an API is, but also why it's so crucial to the modern web, and even how you can start using or building one yourself. So, let's get right into it. API stands for Application Programming Interface. That sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. An API is just a way for different software applications to talk to each other. Think of it like a menu at a restaurant. When you go out to eat, you don't need to know how the kitchen prepares your food. You just look at the menu, pick what you want, and place an order. The menu tells you what's available and what you can ask for, but it doesn't reveal all the behind-the-scenes details of how your meal is made. In the same way, an API provides a list of available services or data that one program can request from another without needing to know the internal workings of that system. APIs are everywhere, even if you don't realize it. Let's say you're booking an Uber. When you open the app, the map you see isn't something Uber built from scratch. It's powered by the Google Maps API. When you pay for your ride, Uber doesn't create its own banking system. It uses a payment API, like Stripe or PayPal, to handle the transaction. Even social media apps rely on APIs. Every time you see a share on Facebook or sign in with Google button on a website, that's an API at work, letting different services communicate and exchange information seamlessly. But why do we need APIs? Imagine if every time you wanted to check the weather, you had to call up the weather station, ask for today's forecast, and write it down yourself. Then, if you needed to check it again later, you'd have to call back and ask all over again. That would be a huge waste of time. APIs save us from that by allowing applications to fetch data instantly whenever needed. They make everything faster, more efficient, and more automated. Without APIs, apps wouldn't be able to share data with each other, and the internet as we know it wouldn't function. Now let's take a quick look at how an API actually works. The process is pretty straightforward. When you use an API, your application sends a request to a server asking for specific information. The server then processes that request and sends back a response. Think of it like texting a friend for a pizza recommendation. They reply with a few options, and you pick one. APIs work in the same way. A request goes out and a response comes back. These requests and responses are usually handled through the internet using HTTP, just like when you load a web page. There are different types of requests you can send. Get requests ask for information, like retrieving the latest news articles. Post requests send new information, like submitting a form. Put requests update existing information and delete requests remove data. These are the basic building blocks of how APIs communicate with servers. Now you might be wondering, how is an API different from a regular website? Well, the main difference is that a website is built for human users, while an API is built for programs. Think of it this way. A website is like a restaurant with a dining area. It's designed for people to walk in, sit down, and enjoy a meal. An API, on the other hand, is like a drive through There's no need for a dining space. You just place your order, get your food, and go. APIs don't have front-end interfaces like websites do. Instead, they provide data through endpoints, specific URLs that applications can call to get the information. Speaking of data, let's talk about JSON. When an API sends data, it usually comes in a format called JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is a lightweight way to organize and share data. It's easy to read and works well with many different programming languages, making it the standard for modern APIs. Think of JSON like a grocery list. Each item is neatly labeled, and you can quickly scan through and find what you need. A JSON object for a restaurant, for example, might look something like this. It's structured, clear, and easy for applications to read. That's why APIs use JSON. It keeps things organized and ensures that different programs can understand each other, even if they're built with different programming languages. Now, what if you want to build an API yourself? It's actually not as complicated as it sounds. To create an API, you need three key things. A back-end framework to handle requests, like Node.js, Flask, or Django. A database to store and retrieve data, like MySQL or PostgreSQL. And a server to host it so it's accessible online. Think of it like opening a digital food delivery service. You need a menu, the API, a kitchen, the database, and a way to deliver orders, the server. Once you have those pieces in place, you can build an API that allows other applications to interact with your service. And what if you just want to use an API in your app? It's actually pretty simple. First, find an API that provides the data or service you need. Websites like Programmable Web, Any API, and public.apis.zone have directories full of APIs you can explore. Next, check the API's documentation to see how it works. 
Many APIs require an API key, which is like a password that lets you access their data securely. You'll also want to use a tool like Postman to test the API and see what kind of data it returns before integrating it into your project. Once you're comfortable with how the API works, you can write code in your app to call the API, retrieve the data, and display it however you want. For example, if you're building a weather app, you can use an API to fetch the latest weather updates and show them in your interface. So now you know what an API is, why they're so important, how they work, and even how to start using them. APIs are the backbone of the modern internet, making everything from social media to online payments possible. Whether you're a developer looking to build your own API, or just someone curious about how your favorite apps work, understanding APIs opens up a whole new world of possibilities. If you found this explanation helpful, drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.